Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another reaction video with me. Hi. Anyway, this is a gore. That's me. Anyway, so this is a brand new Sony V2 video. Uh, this is the unhealthiest restaurant in America. Why it's controversial. I think you just told me why it's controversial. <laughs> anyway, so I think I could probably fit two and two together. Is this going to be the heart attack grill? Is that is that the one? Is this what this is going to be about? I heard about that is that the unhealthiest i have no idea i, I know it's if you want to go die you go there you're like oh a 400 pound cheeseburger sure that's, that's what people usually call me a 400 pound cheeseburger <laughs> anyway so let's get to it link in the description it's down there something else is down there <laughs> give it a tickle anyway let's get to it let's just go three two one play when john basso first hey it is heart attack grill. grill he had no idea that serving wait hold on Wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Did it say Heart Attack Grill in the background? No, it didn't. Okay, good. All right. So, Oh, no, it did. It said Heart Attack. Yeah, there it is. I didn't even notice it. Every time I... <laughs> Whatever. The unhealthiest menu would come with so much controversy. Countless lawsuits and avalanche of bad press and multiple heart attacks on the premises. Right opening mm. the heart attack... What? Real wonder what it could have possibly give you an idea that you might get a heart attack. In 2005, Basso owned three different exercise gyms over a 12-year period where he'd advise <laughs> Wait, clients what? on their dietary and exercise needs, as well as on techniques of caloric reduction. However, he felt this was an untruthful line of work, stating, it's the It was untruthful! Disgusting because you're promising people things that are outside their genetic possibility. Instead of being a slimy, crooked, dishonest peddler of health and I'm just gonna give people heart attacks. Services, I would actually launch a hamburger concept that would be absolutely honest and that's the only guiding principle hey this is bad for you and it's gonna kill you the first heart attack grill Hell episode yeah. featured a front door sign reading uh, caution this establishment is so is heroin before they'd later add cash only because you might die before the check clears <laughs> inside the <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. display the catchphrase taste worth, worth dying, dying for. for. However, the most insane piece of science we'll never was without there. a doubt this reading. They went over 350 pounds each for free. Fuck! Why didn't you fucking tell me that a couple years ago? Anyone over 300 because because what because you're gonna die eats for free all day every day every day unlimited with the only rules being no must weigh in with doctor or nurse before each burger no taking food to go no sharing with us does not include beverages okay. taking food to go no sharing with others. I, I need to read it myself I could just let Sunny read it does not include beverages although this wasn't the only unlimited service offered by the restaurant instead oh, of a salad you poor bar, Peter Griffin looking fuck liner fries bar to serve the free Meals, Basso took a tip from Hooters by hiring a bunch of sexy nurses with a theme policy also extending into the job application <laughs> Sorry, process I, I said it with questions Sunny such went. as whether the applicant has an in or outie belly button. What? <laughs> Which one do you think he prefers? <laughs> Who would they have a hot one night stand with? What? <laughs> Their opinion on certain conspiracy <laughs> things. That's the, that's the most insane fucking question ever. Is two bucks still alive? Are Bigfoot and Loch Ness monster real? And if they're real, how come how come they don't show up and fucking come at me, bro? Was the American moon landing faked? Well, we all know that. Did multiple shooters kill John F. Kennedy? Is that it? Yeah, I guess it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I always heard the, the conspiracy is that the government killed John F. Kennedy. I didn't say that. Uh, that's a con that's a conspiracy. I didn't. I I, I do not support that one. A comment stating, no one gives a damn about your academic achievements, but if you want to bore us with them, go right <clears throat> ahead. As the head of the restaurant, John spends every day dressed as a doctor, stating, we promote nicotine, alcohol, caffeine, fat, cholesterol, sodium, all the building blocks of a quality, healthy, good time, with these insane statements leading to his first appearance on there a go, local news station. There was a restaurant in... You know, it's funny, the quality of this reminds me of 2007 for sure and also 1990s <laughs> both MP, where the food is so rich they call their big burger the quadruple bypass not everybody yeah. thinks that's funny least of all the arizona board of nursing the news story then stated that the american nurse don't buy it then if you're gonna like that that's like complaining 
Ah. Don't buy it. You literally called it. It's gonna fucking kill you. Them calling their waitresses nurses. However, five or six complaints <laughs> was a small price to nurses. pay, given the story was basically free advertising. All right. So if you want to bypass, of course, the good kind, now you know where to go. It's called the Heart Attack Grill. This then turned into further news coverage, where kind. John explained the other ways in which Bill the Geist? restaurant might kill you. Yeah, his name's Bill Geist because he fucking died of a heart attack. He's a goddamn ghost. You, uh, we don't do diet coke. We don't do light beers. We don't even provide lettuce on our burgers. With the wow, because I'll save you. <laughs> Little slice of lettuce on that 500 pound fucking burger. Yeah, there you go. The arteries will be like, oh, thank you, kind sir. Which beating all of their competitors. John, this is creating a firestorm. I have a feeling this is just what you want. Well, I can't say that I don't enjoy he's the publicity. He's got the fucking doctor. <laughs> definitely does pack this. What a fucking troll, this fucking guy. It's a restaurant. We've been so lucky as of recently, our web traffic exceeds McDonald's.com. After noticing the media stories help the business grow, yeah. that attempt to set the gears... Funny enough, the returning customer base is really down, like almost zero. Record for the world's unhealthiest burger. This is like, this is like the, the restaurant that like lemmings would go to. <laughs> Uh, achieving such with the 9,982 calorie quadruple bypass burger, although this gluttonous piece of food will be served with a side of tragedy. Yeah. The heart attack oh, no. grill had introduced oh. a spokesperson named Blair Riva, who had six foot eight, five hundred and. All right, come on, boy. Damn, you even tall as shit. Well, maybe she's just really small, actually. <laughs> That's probably it. He's probably like in his six, six feet, too. God damn. All of the restaurant's ads. I'm up another few inches. Who needs these old pants? I could eat for free. In a 2011 news report, Blair talked about feeling incredibly healthy. This is good stuff. Everyone should be modern size like myself. However, he passed away before the interview even aired. Wow, really? Dad. Sadly, we now know how long that was. 30. Blair died last week at the age of 29. His family says the cause of death was, yeah, was pneumonia. Dirt. Even in death, oh, the pneumonia, heart attack okay. will maintain their brutally honest branding. Had he have been thinner, he most probably would have survived that pneumonia. Aren't you glorifying obesity, which Absolutely. obviously kills? Absolutely. With Basso taking this even further in a different interview. If they do die here, I'm not going to lie to you. That's great for business. I'll say it again. Death is great for business. At the Whoa, heart attack. this guy, this guy don't fucking care, bro. I mean, to be fair to him, he's not lying to you. He said, if you eat here, you might die. You, you could go, I mean, I don't even, is the food even that good? I mean, also, no, no, no. The one thing I think is shitty is that they make the food free for fat boys. Like, real fat boys. That's really shitty. That's the one thing I say that sucks because you're going to have people that just don't have the money. You know, and it was like, well, I guess I'll eat at the heart attack grill. <laughs> I got to eat something today. Um, there's going to be some people. But even that, you can fucking go to a dollar store and get, like, a ramen fucking noodle. I mean, that's a lot of calories and sodium and shit. But fucking, it's, it's, it's way, it's healthier than this shit. That's for sure. His goal of discrediting the founder only did the opposite. Oh, it's actually refreshing to see someone so painfully honest. The owner is great. He makes no apologies, nor should he. You can't blame him for people doing this to themselves. The only thing I'll blame him for is letting people eat for free. That's the only thing. If he didn't do that... And maybe they don't do it anymore. Well, actually, I don't have no idea if this restaurant's even around anymore. But um, it's impossible to hate this guy because he's being a hundred percent honest. In I don't hate him. Basso showed his more compassionate side by stating, "Cynical people might think this Riva's death is funny, but people who knew him are crying their eyes out. There is a lot of mourning going on around here. You couldn't have found a better person. Okay. Even if he was skinny, we would have given him the job. We would have just put a fat suit on him. He just had personality, as did the." I feel like that's what they should have done. Just puts a fat suit on somebody. Restaurant's next spokesperson, Ernie Hart. Who oh no. Oh, his last name's Hart too. Who wouldn't last long either, although for a slightly different reason. Oh, In October okay. 2011, Basso moved the restaurant to the land of indulgence, pleasure, and poor oh, short-term no. choices, Las Vegas. <laughs> the new and improved restaurant oh. featured a public elect- Yeah, that's right, I heard about this thing. A public one, big ass number. This boy's fat. Finding anorexia since 2005. Send hate mail to Heart Attack Grill, 450 Freeman Street, 130 Las Vegas, Nevada. Electronic cattle scale, as well as new signage reading, fighting anorexia since... 
I keep reading the things he's about to read. 2005, uh, and send hate mail to, followed by their address. I didn't know he was even going to fucking read this. <laughs> led to a brand new slogan. Remember, the calories you eat in Vegas, stay in Vegas. As well as an... The fuck was that noise? ...to a brand new slogan. Remember, the calories you eat in Vegas, stay in Vegas. As what was that fucking noise? <laughs> as well as an instant increase in business. We both doubled in terms of money, in terms of square footage. However, the craziest change was without a doubt their menu. Despite their quadruple buy... Wait, is the woman on the menu? <laughs> I'm <confused>. However, the <laughs> craziest... You can get the butterfat shake, was... coronary dog, double pie pass burger, <laughs> triple pie pass burger, quadruple pie pass <laughs> burger, lady... Menu. Uh, Despite their quadruple bypass... <laughs> Hello, nurse. Already holding the record for the highest... I'm sure they heard that a lot. <laughs> ...calorie burger. The heart attack grill then 10, doubled 000. their invention, creating the octuple bypass burger, which... How do you even eat that? How? patties, 40 pieces... Not one slice of letters letters no thing of letters <laughs> not one thing of letters in there at all this is a bacon <laughs> imagine they put one piece of lettuce in there there you go it's healthy now i mean i guess they got the the onion onions better than i guess it's a tomato i think is that tomato that's one dry looking ass tomato so 900 calories at around the same point in time the heart attack grill updated their website to include free video and images for the press oh, where the motivation for the octuple bypass burger became with the cigarette, obvious uh, they were trying to generate media attention and this is exactly what they it's got disgusting the right? that's actually the grossest thing i've ever seen over a hundred million you ate that matt stoney oh 22 million views shit i wish i ate it too he's worth it <laughs> oh no look him. Look how small he is! It's your fault! <laughs> it's your fucking fall heart attack, girl. Look at him. He's like he's like one third of both of these ladies. No, he's like one fourth. On YouTube, as different content creators visited the restaurant to see if they could eat it. Those who could, such as Matt Stoney, were given a ride out of the restaurant in a novelty <laughs> wheelchair, although there were others who were forced to leave. Oh, in an no. A customer at the heart attack grill was rushed to the hospital after eating a Forget sandwich. Get this. You'll never guess what he had. That's right, a stroke. Called the Triple Bypass Burger. In February 2012, an article was published titled <laughs> Man Has Heart Attack While Eating at the Heart Attack Grill, which is followed by another article. <laughs> this just in, water's wet. <laughs> only two months later, reading Heart Attack Grill lives up to its name again this week when a woman collapsed in their Las Vegas restaurant. This marks the second person to fall victim to their horrifically caloric food in less than a year with a heart attack. I feel like it, hold on, being that popular, I need to sneeze. There it is. Um, that it being that popular and that horrible when it comes to health, the just two people collapse. I feel. I feel like if you go to a McDonald's and you ask like someone that's been there for a little while, like an employee that's been there for like a year, ask them how many times like someone collapsed in in the McDonald's, they probably say a couple times. I bet. I bet you that's happened a couple times at like any McDonald's. So. That's not bad. Uh, I mean, how many people have ha immediately had a heart attack right after leaving the heart attack grill is the real question. I guess we don't know. Responding in the most brand appropriate way uh, by bragging about it on their website. Two ambulance departures in less than 60 days left an indelible mark on the heart attack grill's public image. Dr. Yeah. John delivered a clear message to while, the while the, while the lady's being carted out, he's like, He's fucking ghost riding the fucking whip while she's fucking <laughs> carted into the fucking ambulance. The media that such tragedy <laughs> shall inevitably continue due to having clientele which she refers to as being the avant-garde of nutritional risk takers. Did that heart attack had <laughs> my wallet with money? Absolutely. Did I enjoy that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Although this is still nothing compared to what would happen one year later. The heart attack grill had a new unofficial spokesperson okay. named John Alleman. Oh, this guy. This poor guy. Who was recognized as the restaurant's most loyal customer. He never missed a day, oh. even on Christmas. How the fuck is he not like fat? Basso said. People just loved him. He connected with people in a real way. Although all of this changed on the 11th of February 2013. After chowing down on his daily feed at the grill, John Elliman suffered a heart attack and died while waiting for oh. the bus at the front of the store. This led to Basso's craziest PR stunt to date. They'll say it's grotesque. They'll yes, say, how, they will. how can you keep the man's cremation here? With Basso keeping the cremation in... Oh no. <laughs> What is wrong with you? What? Inside the restaurant, I can't be real. He wants you to know his food kills, so that maybe you'll stop eating junk. This. 
Uh, man is willing to sacrifice his reputation and maybe even his <laughs> humanity to try and make the world a healthier place. Uh, uh, I respect him for. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Spasso believes the restaurant helps customers to reflect on their own choices, <laughs> having stated anybody who's over 350 pounds gets on that scale. We applaud them like the big sumo wrestler they are, treat them like a champ, make them feel good for that moment, give them free food all they want. But these people go home at night and they ponder that and say, wow, why did I just get free food and have the whole restaurant applauding for me? Because I'm a freak, plain and simple. Before adding, I'm running an obesity intervention and I think it works. I really do. Everybody should check out our Facebook and see a lot of people say, Hey, Dr. John, I've lost 82 pounds since the last time I was in. It's the X Factor, something that snapped in that person that said, Wow, I'm going to make a change in my life, okay. and they did, and that's fabulous. With this sentiment also okay. showing up in the YouTube comments. The Heart Attack Grill restaurant has motivated me to take care of myself, stick I, to my I, diet. The namesake restaurant. I, I can't get over that. He fucking. <laughs> they, he shows the ashes of the. God damn it! I, I thought I thought I was gonna go even further. Like he starts putting a little bit of ashes in each burger or some Very shit. Positive message. If you don't take care, he's of a you part of everyone. You better get that shit away from me. Yourself today. You, you better not put it on it like it's goddamn garnish. Eating a free meal in my restaurant in the not so distant future because everyone over three hundred and fifty pounds eats for free, and therefore Basso believes the restaurant is an overall positive. I am a believer that when people hear my message, the net health benefit to society is. Incredibly good. However, you won't be surprised to hear that not everybody agrees. Mm. He's deliberately trying to get people to eat more than <laughs> With this being echoed by the legendary Anthony Bourdain, who stated, There is a restaurant in Vegas, I think it's called the Heart Attack Grill, where if you're over 350 pounds, you eat for free. I think that should be pretty much a war crime. On top of this, a former waitress went public, talking oh. about her terrible time working at the oh, restaurant, no. explaining that after a man passed out mid-meal, a manager made me take out my cell phone to record a video of the whole thing, so they could send it to the media. Oh. It was on a Friday afternoon, and he hoped it would make the news so they could have a busy weekend. On the opposite end of the spectrum, a different waitress stated this. I've been here 11 years. <laughs> I, 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 I enjoyed this way You've been here 11 years. years. 11 years here. With these fat... Look at the fucking ass crack on that and one. It depends on which person you are. <laughs> <laughs> wearing the fucking, like, hospital in gowns. In instance, the PCRM sent a letter to Basso asking him to declare moral bankruptcy and close I think Gary did. the heart attack ground. Oh, he's not gonna do that. <laughs> However, given the restaurant earned five and a half million in revenue last year, it seems obvious yeah, that Dr. Rough. John Basso and the heart attack grill won't be going anywhere anytime soon. That's just, that's... That's amazing. <laughs> that's just... What a, what a bumpy ride. I only knew a little bit about the heart attack grill. What a, what a fucking... What a st what a story, Mark. It's a little reference. Oh man. Anyway, all right. Well, there you go. That is uh the <laughs> the heart attack grill, unhealthiest restaurant in America, and why it's controversial. Uh, from Sunny V two. That was pretty. That was pretty good. That was very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says heart attack grill right in the fucking background. I didn't even notice. Uh, I only knew a little bit. Like I knew the way in. And I knew uh, it was called heart attack grill, and they had a lot of, of fucked up food. That's about. It. That's all I really knew when it comes to that. I don't really follow anything i guess <laughs> anyway there you go that's it hope you enjoy it thank you i'll see you guys later link in the description did i say that before you should watch it first bye